My name is Larry Fong, and director of photography on Watchmen. Well, the graphic novel is definitely multi-layered and deep. The whole idea of symmetry plays a big role in the graphic novel, and I think Zach's approach has been a very traditional way of shooting and, and a traditional way of composition. And the best way to do that was sometimes with a single camera. When I was doing Lost, and we had you know multiple cameras at all times. It does kind of make you shoot in a certain way. When you make a movie, a lot of times you take a second camera, and if the actors are talking. You stick a second camera in there to try and get a close-up or something like that to make it move along faster. That second camera normally suffers a little bit in its composition design just because it's not the primary focus. But for this movie, it's a one-camera show. It's important to create a structure that puts the director at a comfort zone. The last thing I want to do is sit there and say, okay, you know what, we're not being efficient here, we're not being smart here. Yeah, okay, let's shoot everything in this direction. Let's put two cameras, let's put three cameras on. If the director is not in his comfort zone, then you're not saving time at the end of the day. His shots are so designed. Action! So it's hard to kind of get a B camera just somewhere to get another shot if you know, he won't use it. It's great for me because that means I can make each shot look the way I want it to without compromising, which you usually do when you have two, three, four cameras. The shots are there and they sit and the action plays out, almost like the frame of a comic panel. I think we always knew Watchmen would be this way, more practical. I think even in 300, you know, all the green screen was more about skies and distant background. I think a lot of the visual interest isn't just in sprinkling magic post-production look on it, but just the design of the shots and the sets and the lighting. Thank you, Mark. It was about getting at the realism as much as possible. You can see from the color palette, there's a lot of purples and yellows and greens, much like Dave has drawn in the book. I call it like stylized realism. It's a dark movie. So you see some of these sets and you know, they're lit really dark. There's that edge where you're keeping the sets really dark, but you still want to show off how amazing they are. If you go in the streets of New York, which I've done, you end up turn off all the street lights that are making multiple shadows and you put your beautiful light in one place or something. We left all the street lights on, we turned more lights on to make more multiple shadows, and then, you know, didn't use a lot of fill. So um, I think that's why it kind of feels real. Watch many. <laughs>